Hey, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm a singer-songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee, and this is my Fort Desolation head trip. So the Fort Desolation team booked me on the Fort Desolation Festival. It's in Utah, and I know a little bit about Utah is super gorgeous. So any excuse to get to come here and be here. So we took the festival. And then they came with an opportunity to actually come ahead of the festival and camp for a few days with a nice little camper and a, and a rig and um, really get out in it. As a touring artist, we move at a rapid pace. So we see a lot of things, but we're going from town to town to town to town in pretty quick succession. So there's not a lot of opportunity to just slow down and, and really take things in. I've been really grateful for the opportunity to get to do that. Traveling with me are these people that are all on probation. Joanna, life coach, glam squad, uh, other things, just organizes and points and shoots me in the right way. This is Wade Sapp, our fearless leader, wild man for whenever you need a wild man. Also great music artist, my manager, partner in crime, Mary Spar of Young Mary Records. They came out early with me to take all this in. So I um, had somebody to share it with and they would believe me when I told them what all I saw. So nobody can accuse me of lying about any of this now. So this is Highway 12, as I understand it, and one of the best drives in the entire world. So glad we skipped school today. Yeah, me too. Pretty inspiring landscape out here. Yeah, I know. That's really, right. like, get away from just all the stimulation that is man made. Might be a good view off this side. Can we stop at this scenic overlook? Oh, yeah, totally. I want to stop and take, take it in for a minute. I want to stretch my legs. Good eye. Wow. That's that feature I was talking about that I saw like while we were driving. See the, that like kind the of crevice? Yeah. Thing? The concave thing. Wow. Lots of wildflowers and every color out here. It just goes on and on. Getting a dad cam. You don't need a lot of entertainment tools out here, and we've all been pretty good about staying off our relative devices, but we have been entrusted with a, with a dad cam, an old little old school video camera. Look forward to getting more and more blackmail material as we go along. <laughs> the camera just wished me Happy New Year, though, so that's good. <laughs> Told you we didn't know what day it was. Well, let's keep going. All right, let's go. See what else there is. Yeah, there's plenty to see. Well, gorgeous, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You look at the paper. 
Oh, I'm looking at the oh, 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 my God. I wish my mama could have seen this. Oh, my God. Postage stamp vibes. Steep grades, sharp curves. <laughs> Is that your next album title? Yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh. There's got to be a river or something that's oh, going yeah. down there. Is that Making green. that happen, yeah. took our rig around uh, Highway 12. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. <laughs> I was only concerned about Wade focusing on the driving because the, the views were so jaw-dropping. It's just something that you, uh, you put into your eyeballs and your scope of your brain that you, you won't ever lose. That just makes a memory for a lifetime. So we're going to meet up with those hoodlums, Mary and Joanna. Is this it? Okay, so make a left right here. Okay. Make a right left here? Make a right. <laughs> now this is a campground. Now this is a campground. There's nobody living in it. You know, <laughs> no clothes lines Yet. up. I'm just thankful for this Toyota 4 and this Airstream that is, can maneuver through all the juniper trees. Yeah, we, if we set it up this way, the sunrise should be that way. I have no idea about that. <laughs> well, I, before we got in, I licked my finger and tested the wind uh, too. That's so, how you could tell. Yeah. Well, thank God you're here. What if we set up right here? Park up. Looks pretty good. You cool with that? Yeah. You're making great choices so far. I'm gonna unhook this thing. Do you know what you're doing? I'm trying to look like I do. Good, because you're on camera right now. What does that do? It's just like something to set your... Uh... Like there's stabilizers, you know? I think you're making that up, but that's okay. Um. Are you going to take this off? Yeah. The whole thing? Oh, yeah. we got to have something to explore in. Green room. We can live here. <laughs> I can dial up in my head what Utah looks like, but until you really get into it in a, like a three-dimensional way, you know what it what it looks like and feels like, but you can't really until you get in it. And that part continues to be surprising because you think you know, but you don't until you're here. Now that we got these two, we're gonna look for Singing Canyon. Can you find Singing Canyon? Can you find Singing Canyon? <laughs> Mary, Joanna, how do you feel about looking for Singing Canyon? I'm down. Down? All right. Are you head tripping? Head tripping. We need to take the beauty down a notch. I know. It's like, it's like I'm like, really? Okay. We get it. And now you've got a canyon, you can sing in. What do y'all want to do after this? I hear that we've got a chef coming and that he's going to make us some cocktails, perhaps even on a, on a rock. So rock I don't even know if rock tails. I don't even know how that's going to, how that's going to go down, but I have a feeling it's going to go down well. Getting this started in the pan and then let it like finish over the fire. Super, super, super grateful to be here. This is my first time to Utah. 
I've been in restaurants and Michelin star restaurants and opened my first restaurant when I was like 23. And like I've always been into outdoors and camping and I kind of saw an opportunity to bring the two together. I've been doing a lot of gathering from some really cool local farms. I know it's really hard to grow stuff out here, so I did some research ahead of time, made some calls and talked to some really amazing people. <laughs> pretty valiant mission growing produce uh, out here on Mars. I don't know about all that though. I'm hoping it's going that way. Go that way. I don't know where to go. See? What happens, the fork in the road? I'm Which path you take will determine your future? I see a bird. Oh, look at the bird. It's gonna, I think we're gonna go in there. About to go in Singing Canyon. <laughs> no excuses now, Cook. You get a mic check? I feel like I'm in like the, the womb of the Maybe Mother Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where you at, Shook? Singing Canyon. Oh. Uh. Uh, Give me one of them big old Appalachian Yelps like your mama would have done. I mean, that's something you don't just do out of the gate, you know. <laughs> Any request? Free bird. <laughs> Free bird. I know. Oh, I'll do bones. I didn't want to get out of there. Incredible acoustics. My performance disrupted the heavens and thunder began to, to beckon and we made it back to camp just in time for a pretty torrential downpour that thwarted our um, efforts with Chef Kevin. Part of an experience like this is just to be able to roll with whatever happens. So weather be damned, We've had a great time all around so far. I don't think we can be stopped. Cheers. 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 Such pleasure, Cheers. Good Lord.
Mm-hmm. Wonder what rich folks is eating tonight. Mm -hmm. Tastes you. So here we are on day two of our head trip excursion. This breakfast is pretty damn good. What do y'all want to do after this? Weather permitting, we got a guide set up to take us fishing. So we're super locked and loaded if that's what happens. It's gonna work out great. Just trust me, you're in my super capable hands. <laughs> after the fishing, after all that, where, where is it we end up? In Torrey, which is near where the festival's gonna be. So Fort Desolation Festival is right by Torrey. So if we go ahead and get there and get set up, Tomorrow, we can easily make it over to the festival grounds, meet the band, get ready, play a show for all the wild people camping over there. Fort Desolation Festival, here we come. Lake Road, upon which I believe there's fish lake, in which there's supposedly fish. Nice. So the guide's name is Mike, and um, his shop is called the, the Quiet Slime Fisher. That's so the only way to fly fish. Keep it down. <laughs> Mike likes it quiet, calm. Have you ever fly fish? I haven't ever fly fish. Are we about to fly fish? I, well, he, he didn't say quiet Zepco real one. <laughs> if I can't cuss loudly while I do this, I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. Four selfie sticks. There was a dad arm. Fish lake, y'all. Gonna be a gorgeous day fishing. Maybe we'll catch some of these mysterious oh, fish. Kokoni. Kokoni, that's it. I don't know what's that. This is us. Oh, is this us? I think so. Is this a trusty guide? Hey, are you, you Mike? I'm Mike. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, nice yes, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thomas. Thomas. Yep. <laughs> This hey. is Wade. Wade, nice, nice to meet you. Keep Mike. an eye on him. Hi, Wade. Thomas, pleasure. Permission to come aboard? Go ahead. Oh, okay, right ahead. thank right. you, thank you. Is that what you're supposed to say? Yeah, yeah. something like that. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do they care about time of day? They do. Um, you always do better like early in the morning and later in the afternoon, of course, but we're going to make one more pass here, and if these don't start picking them up, switch tactics here. Uh, How are you doing? I'm fly as hell. You fly? <laughs> you fly? <laughs> we should go down onto the river, and you'll catch fish on it. You've never caught one on a fly rod before? No. We could go down on the river, and you'd have one in about 10 minutes or five minutes. You think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you See, wouldn't I just have to picture cast myself far. like tangled in a web of fishing <laughs> line with like a fly stuck in stuck my in cheek. Your cheek. Yeah. Okay, we're going to 
to just keep this real short and simple. No more line out than this. Yep, that's all we need. Now, how do you get it out there? Okay, so, so you're used to coming all the way back like this to cast your fire, to cast a rod, right? Uh-huh. You don't want to do that. With this, you want to just come right up to 12 o'clock. You're just going to come up and just stop and let it hang and then just flip it forward. Well, all right, but and are you letting go of the nope, line when you do just that? Just keep your finger right here the whole time. And then oh. when I tell you set, just, then just set the hook. And we want to look for areas like behind these rocks, but you're just going to come up like this, this 12 o'clock position with the rod, uh -huh. and then just bring it forward, just like that, and let it come down through. Just keep it real simple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tuck it right up in here. So come come back, yep, just to right back in here, and then just a simple roll forward. <laughs> yep, push it down. Yep, let it go, let it go and put, reach out just a little bit with your rod, yep. Now just come up just a little ways with it and push it back up, toss it back up. I, I kind of yep. got the hang of it that time, I think. Yep, that's good water. Oh, nice. Oh, no! We call that the relocation program. <laughs> you got that, right? <laughs> Go again. <laughs> Getting up in it. Mm. One more this way. Yep, let it go. Be ready. Yep, get him. <laughs> Whoa, good Lord God. <laughs> right there. Come on, come on. Oh. I got it. You I got, got it. One. The great brown. Hey, you're cute. I'm doing. Good job. All right, He's here, so get, pretty. Let's get our hands wet. Oh, uh, I dropped it. That's all right. Hey, Great bud, fish. look how pretty. Is that your first, first American Western trout, huh? I've, as far as I know, yeah. First fishing on the fly was very on the fly in every way. I did not anticipate I would be fly fishing today. Uh, it happened, however, events have unfolded. We have gone with the flow here in Utah. Mike put us on them down here in the uh, Fremont River. On the Fremont River. In the Fremont River. It's not a river. It is a river. It's a creek, it's cold. <laughs> it's a great river, Mike. I did not think I would be getting a fish on a fly. I mean, God. It's so cool, it's challenging, but like in an acceptable way for me, an acceptable amount of challenging. Would you do it again? Yeah, only with your support. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to take my mic training wheels off yet, I don't think. I can be com left completely to my own devices, uh, fly fishing. However, we've worked up quite an appetite and Chef O'Connor's making us something to try and make up for the rainstorm that rained us out last night. So we're gonna have a have a do-over. I liked what I ate in the rain, so I'm really looking forward to tonight. We've got some beautiful ribeyes cooked over the fire, and then over the top, there's some creamed greens, so we've got beet tops uh, from some beets that we had earlier, um, and also some Swiss chard cooked down over the fire with a bunch of cream, butter, corn, peppers, radishes, um, and, and some more of those onions all just kind of blistered over the fire. I'm really excited and grateful for the whole experience and looking forward to the festival tomorrow and can't say we didn't go in well nourished, so thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank cheers. You. cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank Three you. Cheers. Of course. Wade, cheers. do we get it? Eye contact, eye contact. Right. Well, I think this is a really lovely way to end our few days camping here and around Utah. And we'll head to the festival tomorrow. Got to get some sleep tonight. 
I might get some right here <laughs> in about two minutes. But it's been really relaxing and wonderful and lovely in every way. So thank you guys for being a part, traveling with me. Here's to you, Elizabeth. Thank you for the opportunity. This is mm -hmm. amazing. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Cheers, cheers. cheers. You. Find your cups. Yeah. <laughs> Find them. Hey. Cheers. Drink from them. Here, I'll pass it down. Pass cheers, them. cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers. Here's the cheers, these. Oh. I've always had a wild imagination The great outdoors framed my childhood We'd load the van for a poor man's vacation And camp all weekend in the They were simple times, but we sure had it good. I was just a kid, but I still understood. Sleeping under the stars shows you To the Red Branch. Wow, that must be the lodge situation there. What a cool place to have a festival. Excellent backdrop. I'd be content just being here. Like nobody. Even yeah, has that to could be do. our house, right? Nobody has to do anything. Where do you start? She's gonna lie. Hey, hey! Hey! Hi! We made it! You guys made it! Yeah! Come on up! Welcome! Thank you! Thank you! Man, what a view! Yeah, hey man, Jeremy! Nice to meet you, Jeremy! Hey, Goodness! Elizabeth. Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy! Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you! Welcome to uh, Cougar Ridge! Incredible! Let me, uh, hey, I'm gonna bring out the owner of this property. Gary, yeah, come on totally. out! Yeah, we're moving here. We've already decided. Yeah, have you? Yeah, we're moving here. We'll live in any of these. Gary? It's good hey, to meet you. Uh, Wade, Wade and Elizabeth. Elizabeth, it's great to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to have you here. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Well, we are honored to have you here. Everybody's looking forward to it. Uh, well, we appreciate it. We'll have a good time. Great. Hard, hard not to. All these campers and rock and rollers out here doing all kinds of shenanigans. Georgia woman, her body knows. Basket of peaches. I bought this ranch about 35 years ago. No kidding. Well, it shows. You're doing some awesome work I'll play work you a here. game of poker for it later. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my 
Fort Desolation is a relatively new festival that when we saw a little bit about where it was from, where it was happening, and some of the other artists that were coming in, that's always validating when you see some other cool bands and artists come in that you even want to see as an audience member. You take that chance and take the gig. We're super glad we did.